Hey y'all, in 4 H and H here. And look at there, uh, ZL1WN right there, New Zealand. And uh, he's on 10 meters and look at the orange, showing that we have uh, coverage. So I'm gonna see if I can work him. Boy, he's got a pile up. But look at his antenna system. And you can see up there in the log, I've worked him five times before. That's Ross Bigger. So I'm running the FTDX 5000 right now. And let me let you see his signal. Now I'm running Amp 1. So he's probably S9 Plus. Uh, I'll turn on Amp 2. Yeah, he's 5 over 9 with Amp 2. You know, the S meters calibrated at S9 at 14.2 megahertz. So it's going to read off when you get higher up. So uh, low, so you it'll read low. So you boost the, to Amp 2 to give you a little bit closer reading to what they are. But you know what? I go by ear. You know that. I've written about it, talked about it. I have my by ear scale. I've posted it in some of the descriptions of some of the videos. Um, so... If you want to know my by ear scale, uh, I, I think I put it in, I know I've put it in several videos. I'm pretty sure it's in the one where I talk about decibels, S meters, amplifiers, and gain. You can go to n4hnhradio.com and click on the little hamburger menu and look for training, and that video is referenced in there. All right, we'll see if we can get this guy. Sunspot's great. Sunspot number 282, solar flux index 219. It's looking good. X rays in the C region 4.1. That's good. It's okay, you know. Uh, and the planetary case 2.7. Yeah, you want that number lower than that, but at least you don't want it up around five or more. Oh, I don't have the amp on. November 4, Hotel, November Hotel. And looking at the VOA cap, I think that's a pretty accurate reading. Let me show you the VOA cap. So I clicked on his call sign, and the VOA cap says that if you look over there in the top left, 10 meters is red. That means I have less than a 33% chance of getting him, but if I wait another hour, I've got between a 66% chance and a 100% chance. So his, his signal is likely to get stronger in the next hour, and he's definitely in the orange down there, which is representing... That's the muff map, maximum usable frequency, and it's showing 10 meter coverage down in the in that area. All right, so let me see if I can get him. Now I should point out the uh, that is based on 100 watts CW. Now. Uh, it would take about 500 watts sideband to give you about the same result, okay? Uh, I just leave it on CW because I work a lot of CW. See down across the bottom, 100 watts CW. You can click in those and change them. And uh, so, you know, 100 watts, kind of a worst case. If I put that on SSB, I'm probably going to get black there for now. Um, but I'm going to try to get him with uh, the amplifier turned on. So I'll probably, I'll probably be into the yellow if I was to put that at 500. Okay, so let me see now, get back on this. Okay, I'm gonna drive the amp with 18 watts. You look here in the display. I'm gonna turn it down to 18 watts. Driving the Elecraft KPA 1500. 
Okay, well, I'm using a wee bit more than 100 watts up to a full element stepper. Just a wee bit more than 100 watts. And I'm getting him with my doublet antenna right now, 160 meter doublet. There's the ZS6BKW. There's the doublet, significantly better gain. I'm going to try, just for grins, I'm going to switch over to my vertical. And naturally it brings in more QRN, N, QRN, N for natural noise. Okay. All right, back over. <laughs> yeah, the doublet wins, huh? Hard to beat wire. November 4, hotel, November hotel. I forgot to engage the amp. There we go. Okay, the Kilo November, the Kilo November goes. Kilo November 6, Zulu, Zulu, India. November 6, Zulu. Uh, uh, what was the rest of the call? I was trying to do something else as well, okay? Roger, well, Kilo November 6, Zulu, Okay, I'm going to concentrate Italy. now. Zulu, Zulu, India. Kilo, Italy 6. Somebody calling over the top of it. Let's see what that brings up. Again, I knew you'd go. Hello, Carl. California. Name is Ross. Romeo Oscar. Whoever that is calling is not even listening to him. I think the suffix is not quite right yet. They're talking right over the top of the DX station. We need to always be careful about that. Slow to talk. Quick to listen. That holds true in all of life, doesn't it? Well, my first QSO with him was in July of 2016. The last time I worked him was in September of 2020. Just looking up there at the at the log. Well, I have his log a uh, call in the log here down at the lower left there, and hit the tab. I'm ready to log him. All I'll have to do is when I when I, when he comes back to me, I'll click the time on to update that, and then when I finish, I'll hit log contact, and we're good to go. Uh, so as long as I have his call in here and I've hit tab, it'll research up. It'll you know search, and it'll give me a list of all the QSOs I've had with him. And they've all been on 20 meters. So this would be my first opportunity to work him on 10. All right, Rod. Thanks for taking my call. I uh, wish you good to yes there. And uh, hopefully speak with you somewhere further down the log. 73 set on one whiskey November, kilo November 6, Zulu, Zulu, India. Yeah, all a good audio to you too, by the way. Congratulations. <laughs> Have a good, have a good evening. Oh, it's not quite evening for you, but it's certainly uh, late afternoon. Yes, which is right. Q R Z zero one W N. November four hotel. November hotel. November seven United Germany. November four hotel. November hotel. Okay, is there a November four in there? A November four, though. Yeah, hello there, Ross. November 4, Hotel November Hotel, Doug, in uh, near Atlanta, Georgia. You're you're sounding great, 5-9. All right, Thomas. Uh, the, the, hang on, wait, November 4, Hotel November, is that the full call? No, that's not the full call. November 4, Hotel November Hotel. November 4, Hotel November Hotel. Not for hide nor hair. Yeah, I was noticing that um, I'm shooting a video for my YouTube channel and I was pointing that out that our first QSO was in 2016 and now the last one was 2020. So yeah, it's overdue getting you in the log, Ross. And I remember the, uh, listening to you before. You're so good about helping uh, people get their uh get their zl so uh ch ch kudos to you for doing that uh thanks for coming back to me eight thousand one hundred and seventy six miles it shows here uh 73 to you thanks so much and this is n4 hnh uh, Doug, you must be using um 
Well, uh, as a matter of fact, I am. <laughs> so my one, yep, yep, N3FJP, the amateur contact log. Yeah, I like that program. I switched to it a, a few months ago, and uh, I'm really, really liking it a whole lot. Yeah, so this will be our sixth contact. Oh, well, thank you so much there, Ross, and the same to you. I appreciate you coming back to me. I know you got a huge pileup, but it was great to be able to talk to you again, and uh, even if it's been four, uh, almost four years. 73T there, Ross. ZL1WN. This is November 4, Hotel, November Hotel. Hi, Jay, Jack. This is my QRZ, ZL1WN. November 7, United Golf. Okay, so I'm going to... I'm going to click up there. He was talking about, he's, he predicted that I was using N3FJP logging program, which of course that is. And you guys who have been keeping up with me on the channel know that I switched to that uh, in December of 2023. So now I'm going to go up over here and uh, click log contact. All right, now, and if I'd have waited too much longer, I would have clicked time off to... Um, to edit it and back it up about a minute, but went ahead and just did it right then. Should be pretty close. You know how logging is. Uh, now that is also copied over to my QRZ log, so that'll seek a confirmation from him. So I have logged in, in both places. I have this one local. That automatically backed up to QRZ where he can confirm our cut QSO if he, if he happens to do QRZ. And the other thing I'm gonna do, look right here. Spot last, I'm gonna go ahead and click that. Now, I have requested uh, from the developers the ability to pick, you know, let's say you've rattled off a few of them all at once and you want to go back and spot them. Right now, it'll only let you spot the last contact. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And it's already showing up here in the uh, DX. Look at there. You see the one that says DEN4HNH in the comment? So it's already put in where I just spotted him. And, he, you know, at 28.470. So that's how you do that. And I did request the developers if they would maybe set it up to where, let me let me zoom out and show you what I mean. To where I could go back, let's say I've worked several DX stations really quick. Like I got this one a while ago, AO75EX. And let's say I wanted to go back and spot that one. I'd like to be able to click on that. And then the edit thing that pops up, I'd like to see an option there to, to spot that station. You know, so... Uh, I did reach out to the developers about that, and they don't have that feature yet. Or if they've put it in, they didn't tell me. So, and, but man, yes, this is a great logging program, and I um, appreciate you coming along with me for that uh, little contact there. Been playing with the 5000 a little bit more lately. I played with the 10 so long. I got some videos shot that I got to get edited for, uh, from the FTDX 10 and get those loaded up as well. But uh, thanks, thanks for watching videos on my channel. Please click like, subscribe if you haven't already. And do me one more favor, wait a half a minute or so. I want to recognize five of the Patreon team members that I call long haulers. They donate on a yearly basis. And I've got some that have been donating for over three years. Without them, you wouldn't have seen this video or hundreds of others. So I want to honor the, them. I'm going to honor five of them in just a few seconds here. Hey, again, thanks for watching videos on my channel. And 73 from N4H&H.